Assalamu alaikum, dear learners, how are you? I am fine. I hope all of you are fine. I am going to dis discuss with you about a new lesson. Today, today's our lesson is take question 2. So, today I want to discuss with you about some critical sentences. Actually, that question is very simple and easy. If you, if you want to understand, you can understand it easily because the question chapter is uh, actually easy so these sentence also are easy so I want to share with you you listen to me very carefully and attentively I think all of you you will understand very shortly and easily. Okay, come to the points. Here I have written four sentences. I will discuss about these sentences before you. First one is everybody loves flower. When we see Everybody or everyone or every man or none, no one, no man. When we see these words, everybody, everybody, every man, every one, no one, none, we must understand that the subject of the question will be they. In this case, in this situation, we will understand that the subject of the trap question, trap question will be they. So here I have written they. Everybody loves flower. Here, a, yes, yes, after verb one. Though here is yes. We can say here will be does. When we see uh, subject third person singular and present tense, in this case we as usual write does. But why here is do? We must learn, we must understand that when the subject will be they. That means plural subject, in that situation, bar also will be plural. When you see the subject will be they, that means subject is plural. So in that case, bar will be also plural. It is very clear. So here I have written do and this sentence is affirmative so that question will be negative so I have written don't don't they so from the sentence we have learned that if the subject is plural verb will also be plural 
in this situation i have seen most of the students have uh, written in wrong order because when they see uh, verb is singular uh, after verb one yes or yes uh, in, in, we think that there will be does but we uh, we it is it is very clearly we remember that when the subject will be they that means plural in that case verb also will be they but does is singular sub verb so uh, we must remember subject plural verb also will be plural plural here will not appropriate does here is appropriate do so in this situation when we see subject is everybody everyone nobody no one uh, none uh, in this situation we have to write the subject of the type question is there so verb will be uh, also uh, plural form verb is subject is plural form verb is also plural form it is clearly we, we must remember here subject singular or plural is not a matter matter is the in this subject of the uh, tag question is it plural or singular if there is plural subject verb also will be plural so here we will not does here is do is appropriate that means plural subject okay next second subject second sentence everything was lost so the question will be wasn't wasn't it wasn't it this sentence is affirmative so the uh, question will be negative in this situation we have to remember we must remember the if the subject is everything yeah i want to write every everything anything anything nothing nothing some thing something when we see these words are the subject in their situation we have to uh, write the subject of the question eat when we see after every or any or some or uh, no thing thing means um, eat here will be eat we have to, we have to remember very clearly uh, you must remember eat the why we see everything everything anything nothing something or so on in that situation we have to write uh, the subject of the type question eat so i have written was uh, wasn't eat so okay thank you i will uh, i think you will remember it uh, very easily uh, so i want to go the next number next number is birds can fly the subject of the sentence is plural so uh, the subject of the tag question also will be plural it is very clear when we see the subject of the sentence 
is plural plural subject the subject of the question also will be plural so here um, uh, the sentence is affirmative that question will be negative so can uh, can't they it is clear when subject is plural subject also will be plural and verb also will be plural so it is very simple okay i think you will remember it very easily next sentence i want to discuss before you he hardly comes here when you see when you see um, some words here i want to write hardly hard hardly rare hardly rarely or rare or scarcely s c a r scarcely um, few little little seldom seldom hardly rare scarcely few little seldom so on so on these are the negative words we must remember very clearly these are the negative words so when we see any word of from this from this any word in this in the sentence we must know the sentence is negative sentence so he hardly comes here this sentence is also also negative sentence because here is hardly it is negative word you must remember you have to write you have to uh, memorize uh, these words hardly scarcely rare few little seldom etc these words are um, negative words though the words looks positive or affirmative but its meaning th th these meanings are negative so these are the negative words you must remember so i have written uh, in the sentence he hardly comes here comes he the person singular subject is the person singular and um uh verb so, is singular so here is does uh, there is no auxiliary verb so it is present indefinite uh, we we ha have learned from uh, before classes before classes there uh, if, if the sentence is present indefinite in that situation we have to write do or does here is does and this sentence is negative sentence so tag will be positive uh, affirmative does he here is no not or negative word does he so uh, dear learners you must remember the uh, things that when you see the negative word in any sentence you must write uh, the tag question in affirmative i think all of you understand very easily and you will remember and you will try to paste in your uh receptive house uh, i i will I, i think you will try to your best heart uh, because uh, this year is going to finish 
uh, we have to um, we have to go um, uh, another class next year so uh, you must remember you must read in your uh, house very attentively thank you all thanks